गुड मॉर्निंग एंड हेलो एवरी वन होप यू आर डूइंग वेल वेर एवर यू आर आई एम अहमद गयास एंड यू आर वॉचिंग मैंटोर स्पीक्स आज का टॉपिक एक निचोड़ है मैंने जो कोई अराउंड फोर्टी कंट्रीज आई हैड सो इट इज क्रक्स आउट ऑफ दैट तो वट इज द टॉपिक दैट इज टिप्स फॉर सोलो ट्रेवलर्स बिकॉज मोस्ट ऑफ आई ट्रेवलिंग हैज बिन एज ए सोलो सो इट हैज गॉट pluses and minuses but it is worth trying so if you if i ask myself on your behalf that should we travel as solo the reply is yes we should however there are precautions which must be understood before taking this venture i have got uh, 11 short to medium size uh, tips for you and hopefully these will uh, help you Uh, whenever you go on a solo selection of country no selection of country is very important because it's the first country if it is your solo is not uh, really successful you will be discouraged and demoralized so that is its negative side that if it doesn't succeed you have some upset so go to a country which you have already visited with your parents with your friends family or by any means secondly it could be a country close to your home country you should be careful not to try a country where there is a different language there the currency issues there are some other just with the instructions of for views here and there you take on a straight away jump no please know your destination well i would say the more you know the less it is i normally recommend that should start planning 6 month in advance if it is one year it is good and you can start thinking on 3 to 4 destinations at a time get acquainted go to the google map see its street uh, map as well as 360 degree so when you go there you reach there it will be back of mind that i have seen something like this study about that country um, the look google is full of everything places to be visited care to be taken what all to see first advice for solo travelers you put it on the google about that country and you get so much of response here i will also say that you must buy a traveling come health insurance wherever you are going it's not costly these days but it gives you a great peace of mind and make sure wherever you go you have copies of it wherever you go there is nothing about it you tell the that property owner or the manager or somebody that here is my medical and health insurance it is for safety say god forbid if something happens i am covered also in the visa if uh, you have to get visa it helps you in getting that if the native language is english prefer it but if it is not for example for example at some stage not the not the very first one at some stage you have go, you have to go to kenya for safari or something so what you should be doing in such like countries you should be knowing few words only i'll give you example over here for kenya you say mambo mambo the other person is going to straight away look towards you mambo is hello and poe is hi and you will find a smile and if you can find few more words like this also like for for thank you uh so nice of you just these how to greet how to say thank you how to say sorry this helps a lot please do read reviews on that country on that uh, city on those trips those are available again on the google and on on different uh, you can say traveling sites which you might be knowing the agoda and all that pack light in if you see any of my video i always talk about pack light am i in, I, i plan to make another video exclusively on how to travel light here suffice to say that you should try to accommodate or put your stuff in a trolley bag or in a backpack no booking 
right? And it is doable. Reach your destination during day, it's very important. Select a flight. Normally, the flights which reach a destination during daytime are costly. Night are of lesser price. Don't get into, it, get into this bait. For the solo, especially female, it is recommended that you must reach your destination city, country and city during daylight hours. And also, you can try one more uh, transit or little longer transit which will cost you lesser money and may compensate for your going for a landing at daytime. And also, uh, it's easy to commute, right? You can ask, remember, do, do, wherever you stay, do ask your property that I will be landing on this and this terminal, this airport, this terminal, this time. Please advise me how to reach to you. They may offer you pickup on some rates, uh, or you can find the other means. They can advise you take this bus or take this route or this route and you drop over here and we are close by. Now coming on to accommodation. This is something which costs a lot. Out of the money it is ticket which is sort of standard. However, you can reduce by booking it well in time on not the busy days. It's altogether a different exercise. I will not go in detail. However, Accommodation, you have the choices. I will personally recommend for the solo to go for hostels or Airbnb. Here there is a catch point. About that hostel, there must be 40 to 50 minimum reviews on their website. And start reading from lower to higher marks. Normally these are 5 or 10. If it is 5, read 1 and 2. First, if it is 10, read anything 4 and below. That will give you a fair idea you should be going there or not. But never ever stay at a place for which you have not seen, read and properly checked the reviews of different people and number of people. Now in Airbnb, there might not be very many. They are lesser in number. But then you can, you can find all different things, who owns it, who runs it and what people four, five, six, whosoever they were. However, out of the two, I will say, go into the hostel. And stay in gender-specific room. There are three types. Either it is gender-specific or it is for both the genders, mixed. You should go if you are a female or a male, prefer, give a preference to the gender-specific, that is female or male. And stay in a room or dormitory with, which is for four to eight people. Preferably six to eight people. Why? The more number of people, up to a certain extent, the better it is. Yes, there might be noise, there might be one is going, one is coming, all these things. But anything around six is good. And what I was telling you, if you can pay a little more, you can find a room for you, for an individual itself. Quite few of the hostels offer a single room as well for single occupation. Look confident. You have reached that country, that city, you are moving around, you have lost your way. Look confident. So what to do? We have lost our way. Simply go to nearby restaurant or nearby hotel, sit in the lobby or sit in the restaurant, ask for in a, in a restaurant, just ask for a cup of tea or get something and open up Open your uh, hard copy of uh, city map as well as your Google map. I will, I will tell on the next point how you can go and on the Google map, how is it possible to link or find out sort of internet or anything that I will cover this point also. Take long breath, find out, ask from somebody that I need to go to such and such place. Can you please guide me? And remember, one of the best option is public transport. But for that, you have to have, have the knowledge of the route. That is it a subway? Where is the subway station? Yes, a very nice arrangement, almost, almost maximum country that is online taxi hiring. 
that may be Uber or with Go or with Ready, with any name. Download it and use it. It is safe. It is economical. I have personally tried in Kenya, in Nairobi and Aditya Baba. It works very well. Also, try to take, first activity is try to take city guided tour. That may be on hop on, hop off type of bus or physically some uh, individual, some guy taking the people around, but try it. So that you get acquainted and now you know the places. And then you can go on those places exclusively by taking some transport which are of an interest to you. Don't, uh, let's not start just roaming around um, aimlessly or where to go or what to do. Now, SIM card and credit card. Most of the countries now at the airport, you get the SIM card and it is roughly in the range of one to two dollars only. Don't delay it. Get it on the airport. Download the uh, taxis, uh, you can say apps or city map or something, something. And also, mostly, mostly the exchange banks at airports are reasonably, uh, you can say, reasonably good. I have found them much better than any property or hotel. Those property or hotel exchange, they will not take the uh, dollar, let's say, and will like you to uh, give that local currency, but then they give you very low rates. And uh, you, if you are confident that your uh, service provider of the credit card is good, and of course, you have to inform them, I'll be going from this country and to this, this country, from this to this state, so please open it for the international. It is online request they also accept, and you can give them a call also. Don't forget, have as less cash as possible. Because your credit card can give you money, it can it will help in payment in so many things. For smaller things, you have some dollars and that you exchange uh, right at the airport. Last point, and then I come on to few specific points for female uh, solo traveler. And the last point is join online solo traveler websites. You Google it and you'll find so many. Please take care. There are people over there who are scammers, who are sort of out to misguide someone. But if you read all these things, you will find out and see how they let anybody enter. Did they get you, gave you the entry straight away or, and when you read the remarks, it is, and over there you can ask any question about any country, any city, and very many people will respond. So do, it is part of your preparation. Now coming on to the female, please, solo should not be your first country or may not be the second. That is extra care the female solo has to exercise. Overall, the female solo have to be more careful but confident, not looking left, right, don't have any valuable jewelry, any good watch or something visible. Don't take it, but it should not be visible. So it should not be, it should be a country where you have already gone or before going on to the solo, please take few large group uh, tours from some good company, two or three countries try. And then out of those countries where you have been recently from a group, select one where you will like to go again. Please avoid lonely and dark states. It is important for the female because if you are a group even then. So what should you do if it has, if it has gone dark? Try to avoid. If it has, please do take the taxi. Don't go on foot. So this is all what I have to say and uh, if you like it, please uh, subscribe it and uh, share it with the other people and I will be coming with more uh, interesting uh, videos about the traveling, especially 
how to table light thank you very much have a nice day